So now it is time to sample and we're going to do it straight through USB with the iPad. The iPad and the 404 is such an amazing combo guys, like this is gonna change so many workflows you guys don't even know yet. All right, so we wanna make sure that our external source is lit and we're gonna be sampling an artist today. She is so fly, her name is Jade Wee. She makes cool synthesizer videos and tutorials. So, you know, check her out, Dallas Javin. So that's all I want. I'm going to press mark. And I actually want it where the bass starts. So yeah, let's do it that way when the mother 32 starts. So we're going to zoom in over here. A little more. We can get real, real close. Perfect. So I'm going to press that truncate. I didn't even press record just because this skip back feature is so, so helpful. Okay, we wanna make sure we don't lose that. We need to press record so we can save that to a pad. We're gonna do that over here. And boom, here it is, magic. So now I can go change this up a bit. That sounds dope. Let's go ahead and chop that. That's it. All right. We're going to press our encoder, assign to pad, and we're just going to assign it once again. As simple as that. So we're gonna copy that first pad, paste it over here. Okay, so now we have our drums copied onto our second bank and we can get to jamming. Now we can go to Mark, and here's our loop. Let's see how much of it I got. Like I told you, it only does 26 seconds, so we did lose that first part because we didn't record it. But if we did want it to record it, so let's say cancel this, so we don't have to use the mark, we don't have to use the skip back, we can record that into the actual SP404. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna press record over here, and then I have it on wait, so it's going to, actually no, I'm sorry, I'm going to resample. So record is for when you're recording an external source. Since we don't have anything plugged in, we're gonna use resample because what that's gonna do is it's gonna record our paths. So just remember this, record is for recording something external and resample is for recording the paths in like a different order. So I'm going to cancel and I'm gonna press resample. I press the pad that I want my new sample to be recorded into and then I start playing. Here we go. And 
And that's it. And then I press record and here's my loop. All right, so here we go. We're gonna make sure it ends right before that kick starts. And hopefully that will give us a perfect loop. 